there's the battery voltage. Here I have the oscilloscope probe hooked across the battery. There's the ground reference at the common ground. There's the probe at the battery positive lead. I have some extra inductance in the battery uh, interconnections. Okay, and and I have now I'm going to turn up the function generator drive and we'll see what the oscillations look like. We are at half a millisecond or 500 microseconds per division. We are at 50 volts per division. That's as high as my oscilloscope will go. And now I'm going to turn up the drive. See those oscillations? What do we have? 50, 100, 150, 200, and 25. Let's see if we can get a little bit more out of that. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 200, over 250 volts per division, or, or per, uh, on the trace. And here I've turned up the time base so that you can see the oscillations happening. We'll go back down to the Ainsley 500 microseconds per division. And you can see that we have large amplitude oscillations. All right, I'm going to turn that back down now. And I'm going to switch the probe over to across the current viewing resistor. Stand by. All right, now I've moved the probe across the current viewing resistor, which is a 0.26 ohm. It's a little bit, a little slightly larger than the 0.25 ohm stack that Ainsley used. And Let's see, Ainsley's scope trace shows that current at uh, 2 volts per division. So let's go back down here and we'll change our setting to 2 volts per division. Right there, okay. And once again, let's give it the juice. I uh, should get that back in the center, I guess. Move that to the center. Okay, here we go. Right. Okay, so. Now, at 2 volts per division, we have 2, 4, 6, oh, look at that, 2, 4, 6, 6 volts drop across a 0.25 ohm current viewing resistor. Okay, so that comes out to 24 amps, does it not? Let's do that again. Two volts per division, 10 volt, 10, 10x probe, turning up the amplitude. One, two, three. Okay, so we have six volts across, drop across, measured across that current viewing resistor. All right. Now what part of this is so hard to understand? The function generator is hooked up exactly where everything is, 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 is just... <sighs> Thank you for watching.